Our country is blessed with rich natural resources, but sadly, we have repeatedly squandered these gifts. We are destroying nature's fragile treasures over time, but there is still a glimmer of hope. In this series, we take a look at various protected areas throughout the archipelago to learn the stories of the land, how it was once neglected and abused, and how it is slowly being renewed. This is Loren Legarda, and I present our Fragile Earth, Protected Areas of the Philippines. A strait separating the provinces of Patangas, Oriental Mindoro, Occidental Mindoro, Marinduque, and Romblon. A backdrop of scenic blue skies and expansive sea makes it a haven for both locals and tourists as industries mushroom along its coastlines. But beneath this economic powerhouse is a paradise for the greatest number of marine life species. This is the Verde Island Passage Marine Corridor. A 1.14 million hectare stretch of water that is known as a center of the center of marine biodiversity in the world. Located at the apex of the Coral Triangle, the center of the world's highest marine biodiversity. Ang Verde Passage po ay napakalagang ang parte ng Batangas Province. Dito po nanggagaling ang mga kinabubuhay ng ating mga manging isda. Ang Verde Island Passage Marine Corridor ay center of the center of marine uh, surface biodiversity. Ito po ay napakaralan ng isang marine scientist na si Dr. Carpenter. Uh, parte ng Pilipinas ang sentro ng surface biodiversity. Napakahalaga ng Verde Island Passage sa Pilipinas dahil ito ay isang major sea route ng ating mga naglalayag ng mga barko no, sa Pilipinas. Pangalawa, uh, ito rin ay major uh, fishing grounds, both commercial at ng mga marginal fishermen. No. Pangatlo, uh, alam naman natin na dito ay napakaganda mga corals kaya ito ay paboritong uh, dive spots din ng mga turista. In 2005, Marine scientists recorded a total of 1,736 overlapping marine species within the 10-kilometer area. Recently, yung mga ibang uh, marine uh, scientists, kagaya mga specialists sa mga nudibranchs, yung mga maliliit na invertebrates, they uh, found out na nandito yung pinakasentro, pinakamaraming species ng nudibranchs sa buong planeta. A recent expedition in the Verde Island Passage by scientists from the California Academy of Sciences resulted in the discovery of at least 100 marine species that are likely new to science. Other studies also show that more than half of the fish species in the country and the most number of hard coral species in the world are found here. Ang isa sa natatandaan kong species na na discover mismo ng ating Filipino scientist na si Dr. Francisco Nemenso Senior. Ito yung tinawag niyang Anacropora Puerto Galera. So una siyang nakita sa Puerto Galera. While mangroves along its coast serve as a spawning ground for fish, the beaches along its shoreline serve as a nesting ground for endangered sea turtles. But destructive human activities continue to threaten this underwater paradise. Like for example, yung mga industries o yung mga uh, households, particularly along river banks, ito po ay nagko-contribute sa pollution ng uh, Birdie Island Passage Marine Corridor. As diving became popular in Anilao in the municipality of Mabini in Batangas in the 70s, so too did dynamite and cyanide fishing, even vandalism has been observed in some corals in popular dive spots, while the carelessness of some boat operators and divers when anchoring has caused 
damage to these delicate corals. Concerned groups of responsible divers and residents in Anilao launched an initiative to promote sustainable tourism in the Verde Island Passage. Itong healthy uh, ecosystems, itong mga coral reefs natin, very internationally uh, renowned na ang Anilao at buong Verde Island Passage sa mga scuba divers from all over the world. I think sa akin, uh, napakahalaga para sa lahat ng Pilipino na talagang ma-recognize nila yung halaga na yun at pangalagaan itong globally significant na lugar na ito. Reefs along the resorts were proclaimed marine sanctuaries and fishing was banned along the affected areas. Effective law enforcement, through the shared enthusiasm of the local governments, the national government, and other stakeholders helped ensure the conservation efforts and the passage. At the front line is a Bantay Dagat, a volunteer group of fishermen that bravely faces the struggles of enforcing the law in order to conserve the marine habitat of the passage. Ang jurisdiction mo ng Bantay Dagat, pangalagaan yung kanilang bawat uh, municipal water. Still, the struggle for conservation continues with a growth in the diving industry in the last 30 years. Man's willful exploitation threatens not only marine sanctuaries, but the lives of the law enforcers as well. Local fisher folks are not allowed to fish in the sanctuaries, but the use of compressor diving to spearfish and poach aquarium fish still exists. Rapid and unregulated coastal development also contributes to the destruction of other forms of marine habitat. In the past, mangrove forests were converted to aquaculture ponds and industrial and residential estates. Pollution such as solid waste from the mainland, as well as noise and ballast water from ships traversing the passage, also imposes a critical threat to the environment. These atrocious man-made threats and the impact of climate change on the environment increase the Verde Island Passage's ecological vulnerability. The Verde Island Passage is not a protected area under the NIPAS Act of 1992. But this measure was filed in 2013, declaring the Verde Island Passage as a marine protected area and ecological tourism zone to ensure its protection from threats and destructive activities. For now, the DENR calls on local governments and stakeholders to make it a collective endeavor to protect the internationally significant marine habitat. In the next five years, the DENR's Biodiversity Management Bureau will lead partner agencies in developing a comprehensive management plan that is guided by the principle of sustainable production and consumption and is agreeable to all stakeholders. The Verde Island Passage is one of God's greatest gifts on Earth that overflows with life. We must protect this precious ecosystem now before any damage becomes irreversible so that future generations may still enjoy its beauty and bounty. <laughs>